All right, guys, this is a really exciting video. We read every single comment, and literally there have been hundreds of comments asking us to have Hyderabadi Dam Biryani. I think I said that right. I hope I did. Hundreds of comments, and so that is what we're doing today. Get in here and check this out. We've got chicken on one side. We've got mutton on the other. This is going to be absolutely amazing. So exciting. We're going to start with the chicken. starting with chicken biryani and look at how beautiful this is the smells coming off here the colors the textures I am so excited about this so I'm gonna try my very best to do it right let's start with some rice and some chicken and then I was told that you just put a little bit of sauce here and I definitely want some lime. And let's throw some carrot in. And let's try chicken biryani for the very first time. So, I think I'm doing this right. If I'm not, we're here to learn, so please tell us. But look at this beautiful bite that we have here. Let's taste. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Literally fell off the bone. So tender. So. Mm. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to describe this. Every flavor, and there's so many of them. You get like lemon. I taste coriander. I taste spice. Very spicy now. Very good. The rice is just like melting and dissolving in my mouth. This chicken is so tender and delicious. Adds a whole bunch of new flavors all on its own. I'm going in for bite number two here. It is so good. Oh my gosh, Joy, I cannot wait for you to eat this. It smells so good, I can't wait to eat it. This it's the best rice dish that I've ever had. It's messy, <laughs> but I love that. It's so much fun to eat it this way. The flavors are so unbelievable. I'm so excited to dig into this gold mine. There are so many different layers, like Chad said. We dug in here and got some of the chicken out. Look at this chicken, it looks amazing. You can see there's tons of seasonings on it. And it's hot, it's hot and fresh. What's delicious. Okay, let's see how to do this. I'm gonna spread it out and then put the rice on it and mix it up. We're trying to, like Chad said, do this the right way. So the owner here showed us how to do this before we got into it. And she said the egg, you just grab it and eat it. So I'm gonna do that and then take a bite of this. That's good. There's so much seasoning on the egg, too. Wow. That's incredible. It's spicy. I love the sauces on here. They really go perfect together. I feel like maybe that one's <clears throat> a little bit spicier, and this one's helped calming it down. This is so good. I think I might taste a little bit of... What is the seasoning that, that I always get in my tea? Cardamom? Yes, I think I taste a little bit of cardamom. This is incredible. The mixture of all of these, putting the sauces on it, it almost makes the rice like silky. It's so good. I've been trying to figure out what's so hot, and I think it's the chicken. Look at all the peppers on it, all the spices. It's so spicy, but I am in love. This one smells so good. So this is the mutton, and look at all of this stuff on top of this. There's some, looks like cilantro on here, some grilled onions, and I think this is the mutton right here. Come on in close, we're gonna uncover this. Oh yeah, take a look at that. Look at, that looks so good, and it's all meat. 
That's exciting because I love whenever you order meat and it's not just a bunch of fat, it's the actual meat in it. So this time I'm going to just drop it all on here. The other one was really spicy, so I'm hoping this one won't be as spicy. I want to make sure I save Chad some mutton. I'm mixing it all in and I'm just going to pile on top of this and eat it like this. <laughs> That's a huge bite. It's so good. Mm. That one's not nearly as spicy as the chicken. So I feel like it really allows you to really taste all of the other seasonings. And it's amazing. It's like as you eat this, every time you chew, it's a new level, a new layer of flavor. And it's just so good. All the freshness that you get on top of here, the deliciousness, the way that they cook the mutton is so good. And then just this fluffy perfection in the rice. Thanks for introducing this to us. One of our new favorites for sure. And it's so fun to eat. So before I get into this amazing looking mutton biryani, I have two things I want to talk about. One, when we first got here, I was so excited about the food that I forgot to tell y'all where we were. <laughs> we're at Aga's. Biryani and barbecue in Dallas, and I'm telling you, we read hundreds of reviews trying to find the best biryani, and I think we did because this is phenomenal. I've never had any other, but this is so good. I can't imagine being better. Number two, I learned a very important uh, lesson. When you're eating with your fingers, don't put them in your eye. <laughs> it hurts so bad because it's so spicy, but this is such an exciting new experience for us. I'm just going to keep rolling with it anyways. Look at this beautiful piece of mutton that I found. It's got just so much flavor just caked on it. I already got all my stuff set, so I'm just going to mix it, and then we are going to try this. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Man, I'll be right with you. Mmm. I don't even want to talk about this. I just want to eat it. This is so good. This is my favorite, for sure. The mutton is so tender. It, she's right, it's not as spicy as the other one, but what it allows me to do is taste the fried uh, onions here, is to taste the carrots and the cucumber and the complex deliciousness of those sauces and to taste the meat. And so I absolutely love this one. I mean, I thought that I loved the chicken one, but this one is absolutely unbelievable. I cannot believe that we've eaten as much Indian food as we have without trying this because this is absolutely the, where it's at. This is one of my absolute all-time favorite dishes now. I am in love with this. Mm. So, so good. All right, guys, so we are ending this meal with double kamita. And so we we're excited to find this because if you didn't see it, we just shot a dessert video, and we're going to link that down in the description. But this is one that we haven't tried, so I am excited to get into this. It is bread, so it's almost like a bread pudding, but then it's got all kinds of amazing Indian spices and sugar and milk, and it looks and smells really good. I'm excited for this. Mmm. That's a crazy, crazy texture. So... It's kind of hard to see. I don't know if you'll be able to. But that syrup has soaked all the way into that bread. And it has almost granulated the bread. It's such a weird, funky texture. But the flavor is super, super good. This is one of the favorite desserts that I've had. And really because the texture and the sweetness and the unexpected seasonings that you get throughout this. It is so interesting and so delicious. My turn. I'm excited. It's really cold. This is incredible. It almost reminds me of like French toast, but with the cream that has soaked into it, it 
almost is like a rose water. This is so good. It's like French toast time is a thousand. And that bread is so dense, so it really holds in all the flavor. You're right, I think this is one of my favorite desserts too. This is so good. One of the things I really enjoy about this is it's not overly sweet. It's not like a US syrup that's just too sweet to handle. It's just the perfect amount of sweetness, so I could just keep eating this all day. All right, guys, that was absolutely incredible. Yes, Thank you so much for suggesting biryanis. It is absolutely one of my favorite dishes now. Which yeah, one was your favorite? The chicken because it had more spice to it, and I love that spicy kick. What was yours? I loved the mutton. I just thought that it had so much flavor. Everything was so amazing, though. Even that dessert, such a surprising way to end it. <laughs> yes, it was. We are absolutely <laughs> loving this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep throwing those suggestions in the comments because we read every one and we will go eat eventually what you put in those comments. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications.